worry, kids. If you lose, you all win in the Susanna Reid utopia. Uh, but no, it's a competition. There'll be winners and there'll be losers, and the losers will cry and they'll learn to be better. And next time they may win. Uh, Twelve contestants will be reduced to six during Saturday semi-finals, with the grand final on Sunday night. And we're speaking to Coach Will I Am in just a moment. Though first, let's take a look at uh, one of his contestants. He's hoping to be crowned the winner. Here's an exclusive preview of Gina. He's an incredible voice. Will I am joins us now alongside Richard. Um, there are going to be winners. Well, there's going to be a winner. There's going to be a lot of losers. Has it been really hard judging between kids in a way that it's not so hard when they're adults? Yeah, this one is is has to be about triple time harder than the adult voice because saying no to a kid, mm. letting the kid down. You know, you know they want to be there, but then you have to send them home and, you know, reinstate that. It's about the experience and learning. You know, so, you know, then you have to risk them going back to school and being bullied because they didn't win. So you have to be very delicate with kids in competition. Do you think that's you do, but I always felt, when I did Amer America and Britain's Got Talent, for example, I actually felt it was easier with the kids because they'd have another chance, right? They were young. They could adapt, they could improve, they could... You know. I found it harder with the older ones, where this was the last chance to lose. The end of the road. And they'd well, have this dream all their lives. Yeah, you know but there's, I mean? never, there's never really a last chance, right? Um, but the, you also have to be empathetic. I think Richard's pretty near. When the, the kids, <laughs> when the kids go back to school and get made fun of because they didn't win on TV. Do you think that's but a risk they, for them? Do they get, do they get told, yeah. wow, you're on TV? No, but they didn't win on TV. Mm. What do you think of this debate about competition? In life, generally, well, I'm a highly competitive guy. I so I like competition, mm. and um, you can learn from it, even in losing. Should yeah. schools? I mean, should should we have sports day in this country where I think 55 percent of all the schools in the country now have participation prizes for everyone who competes? So you win even if you lose. Um. That's, that defeats the whole purpose of, of, of competition. Thank you, Will I? But at the same time, I would I would dial in a little bit more emphasis on scholastics and making sure our teachers are teaching our kids to not um, just compete for sport, but to compete in society and create jobs. And I agree with that. <clears throat> Someone's pointed out, actually, they tweeted me, Stephen Bowman, don't be too hard on Susanna. She watches Crystal Palace, so winning is not the be-all and end-all. <laughs> it's <laughs> an inherent <laughs> attitude. <laughs> It's just being there. It's just being there. It's a bit like me on this show, just being there, really. You know, yeah. I lose out daily, but Basking still I turn in the up. reflecting glory. Just tell me here to please the sponsors, Piers, and thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me, let me ask you, what when, when you judge these things, because you've always been on the sort of creative end of things, then suddenly you're there, and you're actually able to create a proper star through this system. People knock talent shows. They say that they trivialise industry and so on. Now you've immersed yourself into them. Has your view changed, adapted? Well, we haven't really... I'm, I'm a transparent person, so it's not like we have developed like the biggest star yet. Mm. But at the least that you can do is to give someone perspective on how they could become the architects of you know, their own career mm. and, um, and stick in it for the long haul. I know that it took me about you know, 12 years before I even got a chance to make money. Mm. Right, from the 16-year-old to, you know, the almost 30-year-old before I started making money. Mm. I think, you see, um, I just think what drives people in the end is you've got to have a goal of success and achievement and winning. You've got to want to be number one if you're a music star. No. Don't you think? But well, no. not everyone can be number no, one. Can I just wanted to take care of my mom. Okay. So I didn't want to be number one. I didn't want to win a Grammy. I just wanted to make sure so my mom... So when you say you're competitive, what did you mean? I wanted to make... I wanted to move out of the projects so my mom and my right. family could be safe. Yeah. Okay. But to do that, you had to be successful. <laughs> um, you have to be focused, and you have to have the surrounding of folks that, you know, resemble the things that you want to accomplish. Mm. Right? So it's all relative, right? So 
you 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 become successful, then you're hanging out in somebody's boat, and you realize you're not successful. No so matter how successful you are, there's someone more successful. Well, you just have to be comfortable yeah. in the situation that you are. And have you learned a lot from losing? Yeah. What? So let's say that my solo record songs about girls didn't really perform well, and I got up and wrote, I got a fill in, and that performed well. <laughs> But I learned from that. Right, right. Uh, we're going to talk to you a little bit more uh, in about 20 minutes' time. Um, Richard, thank you for being here. Yeah, no, it's, you know what? It's always Get a pleasure. Just you know what? You I saw him in the elevator. No, he's learned. <laughs> I know, in my robe, right? Richard, you've learned a lot about interview technique just by watching us yeah, interview. Do you know what I've learned here is actually you glean a lot when you listen. <laughs> you should try it. Yeah. Uh, it depends who you're listening to. Let's listen to um, Laura, who has yeah, a weather yeah. forecast. <laughs>